You have lipstick all over yourself. It's the price you pay. Yourself. The price you pay for love. Clean yourself <laughs> up, man. Thanks, baby. You're gonna be such a good mama. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! Priscilla and I wanted to take the time to share with you the story of how we met. Dun dun dun! How we met. <laughs> because we think it's a pretty good story. It and is a good story. We come from two wildly different parts of the world. I am from small town Wisconsin, and this girl's and from... And I'm from Brazil, the northeastern coast of Brazil. Mm -hmm. Big city Brazil. Yeah, big city Brazil, yeah. but Brazil nonetheless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we ended up meeting, of all places, in New York, New York City. Before we start, just prepare yourself this is a long story so if you want to pause the video right now and go get a little <laughs> snack a little drink whatever it is that you fancy at the moment this is going to be a while yeah but we'll try to <laughs> boil it all down to like just the good stuff <laughs> yes let's do this all right so I I hail from Sister Bay Wisconsin small town USA it's uh, up in the northeastern part of the state beautiful place. Yeah, part of Door County, if you've ever heard of it. It's a village of about 800 people. That's it. And it's one of those places where everybody knows absolutely everybody. Uh, I went to high school with 59 kids in my class, 250 kids in my high school. That was it. And I had already had a few friends that had moved away and like uh, we had all gone off to college, gone our separate ways, come back. And then some of my friends had moved to Chicago and Chicago was like the city that was immediately on my radar. I thought for sure that would be it, and I, I took a couple of trips down there just to investigate and see if I would really love it. And for whatever reason, I just didn't come away thinking this is the right city for me right now. Uh, and then on a whim, I ended up going out to New York to visit uh, with one of my best friends out there, Sean, and New York just blew my mind. It, it absolutely blew me away. It was everything I had ever wanted to uh, experience in a city. and. You know, Chicago ended up being the right city later on because we ended up living there together for about six years. But yeah, New York, I was I was taken with it. So I moved from 800 people to 8 million people. And <laughs> big move. Yeah, it's big transition. Yeah. Big transition. So that's how I got there. Yeah, and how I got to New York is that as a as a kid, my dream had always been to go to university in America, the U.S. And I always loved, you know, American movies that show the college life and everything, <laughs> <laughs> the traditional college life. And I ended up in New York um, as an exchange student first. And then a year later, I went back to Brazil and I was like, I love that place so much. I adored New York. And I went back for university. And I lived there for almost 10 years in New York City proper. So. You know, quite, quite. It's it's a great, um, crazy life, but at the same time, is incredible because once you live in New York, you can live anywhere. And this saying is absolutely the truth. Yeah. So this is how I got to New York. I was in New York way before Ryan, and I was just there, you know, studying, working, having fun, traveling, and you know, being being alive. Mm -hmm. And then fast forward, so we're both in New York, and we are both living in the same neighborhood, but we did not we don't know, know. At the time. We didn't know I, that. Uh, absolutely no yeah. idea. We were both living in Manhattan, way uptown, like yeah. 157th and 152nd. 52nd, yeah. Yeah, so five blocks apart from each other, but in New York, there are probably 50,000 people in between us. Right, but yeah. five blocks apart in New York City, in that massive city, come on, yeah. that's nothing. That's yeah. nothing. So we yeah. didn't know each other right. and yeah. you know, I had only been there in New York for a couple of months and when you are a guy from small town Wisconsin suddenly transplanted to big city USA, you were there to meet people and further your network, Network, <laughs> which you want to meet lots of girls and I was trying, I was doing everything I could and I, no, but I was meeting girls through like through friends and through work and Long story short, nothing really panned out. Nothing yeah. panned out for me. I had gotten out uh, from a long relationship, long-term relationship, for about a year at, at that time. And I was ready to go out and date. I had enjoyed my single life for a year and I was ready to go meet people. And my circle of friends were wonderful, but they were quite, you know, they're tight. And it was difficult to, I don't know, I was meeting new people, but I really didn't, 
I wasn't interested in anyone that I was meeting at the time. So one of my best friends, Marcella, she had signed up for Match.com a few months later. Yes, I said Match.com. That's not sponsored by Match.com, by the way. <laughs> but uh, she had signed up for Match.com um, a few months later and she was like, Priscilla, why don't you just sign up for Match.com? This way you can just go out on a date and you don't worry about you know, having to fight your way to meet people. And I'm like, you know what? Sure, I'll do that. So I went ahead and signed up, uh, made an account, and started browsing potential candidates. <laughs> As I was browsing my way through Match.com, I run into Ryan's profile. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, as soon as I saw his profile, as soon as I saw his picture and you know what he wrote and everything, I was like, hmm, I like this guy. And I hadn't gone out with anyone. I signed up for Match.com, I paid for their freaking fee, and I didn't go out with anyone at that point because I didn't like anybody. I, I am picky. I'm sorry to say that. I'm picky, but it's true. It gave me a good result. What a waste of 50 bucks or 70 right, bucks. Right, so whatever, whatever bucks would. Yeah, you, you get to go on one date on Match.com. Right. Go be. <laughs> so um, I liked his profile. I liked his picture a lot. So I sent him a wink. A wink. That's what we did at Match.com. Match I don't that's know how if you it's did it. I don't know if it's the same still. I, we yeah. have an idea, but um, we did. That's how you did it. I sent him on a wink because I didn't want to be too forward and send him a message. Uh, I just wanted to see and kind of see if he would be interested. Feel it out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. And I ended up on Match.com because one of my best friends was on it at the time, and I thought can't hurt. Sounds fun. Like you can't use something like Match.com in a uh, village of 800, <laughs> so... Because <laughs> you so, know everybody! Yeah. <laughs> a waste of money, right? <laughs> so I thought, okay, it would be fun. Why, why not try it in New York? And so after going on like literally dozens of dates, because I'm just not picky. <laughs> no, not true. This <laughs> girl winked at me. <laughs> No, I, uh, I did go, I did go on just a couple of dates, and, and none of them were good before Priscilla. Like, they actually, actually, they were disasters, and I don't remember them fondly. But I got a wink from this girl, and I think that I replied with a message. Not, I don't know if it was right away, if it was yeah. like, was it probably seconds later, right? I was uh, like, yeah. oh my gosh, a wink! <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag desperate. No, I <laughs> I think you did reply quite fast. And yeah. um, so we exchanged messages back and forth uh, mm -hmm. for a few days. And I finally gave him my phone number and he called me. And my very yeah. first impression is, oh my gosh, he's very eloquent and he has a very commanding voice that's my first all i mean you guys can see it you hear ryan speaking and it's like whoa that's a voice so my first impression of him was whoa that's a voice i was nervous <laughs> we the call was uh it was arranged like we picked a time and yeah we did yeah I, mean, yeah I remember you know like getting ready for this call like i was getting ready for a date trying to get all relaxed listening to music walking around the house being silly and Aww. then and then in the moment i like went into my bedroom and i closed the door and and then it was just easy the moment we started yeah, to talk together. It was, it was. It was just easy. Just an easy conversation. Nervous for nothing. Yeah. So after we hung up the phone, I was like, you know what? I really like this guy. And I invited him to go to a an after party of a, a film premiere that I was planning to go to. This friend, this best friend of mine, uh, studied film at the time and she had worked on a short film production and she had access to this after party and I invited Ryan to go along and to come and meet me. So In the East Village. In the East Village mm -hmm. in New York. There we are. I was super nervous because I had gone to the film and then after the film was the big, big review and oh! Open a parenthesis here. Just Back it all <laughs> a funny, a funny comment, a funny moment here. Every single picture of Ryan that he had on his Match.com profile was like smiling, but not an open smile. He didn't show any teeth or anything. And I was like, why? Maybe he doesn't have beautiful teeth or anything. And this is something that gets to me. I like, I like beautiful teeth. And um, 
Anyway, so... You were afraid I was all snaggletooth. Yeah, there. because you didn't show your smile. <laughs> you didn't show your big smile. So then when you saw me for the first time, was it a... It was like, big smile, and I'm like... <laughs> I remember the night that we met, uh, like same thing, being all nervous beforehand. Yeah. So it was just like the call. I took the train from uptown down to Union Square, and I got there early, and I had time to kill, so I was just making circles around this park. And then finally, <laughs> finally, I, I took the walk over there, and I, I can remember it so clearly. I remember like walking up alongside the name, the, the bar, it was called the Blue Owl. Yeah, right? Right? It, was it was the, called Blue, the Blue Owl. Owl. And I remember walking up alongside of it and then through the front door and you have to sort of go downstairs and inside. And then Priscilla was inside the, the bar, uh, like sort of to the back a little bit, up against a pole. And I remember seeing you for the very first time. And yeah. I knew it was you right away and you looked so beautiful. Oh, thank you. And I remember seeing Ryan for the very first time as well because the same the same point of view that he had looking down, I had looking up. So I could see him coming down the stairs and I was yeah. super nervous too. And I saw him and he opened this huge smile and like, oh, good teeth. <laughs> oh, the difference, in, the difference in first impressions. I was like, so beautiful. You know? And you were no. like, so sweet relief. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Oh wow! And then I opened a big smile, and he came, you know, next to me, and then we started saying hello to each other, mm -hmm. and it was an easy, fun night that yeah. we had. It was incredible how we, easy it was. Yeah, we just we absolutely hit it off that first night, and uh, one of Priscilla's friends, Marcella, was there that night too, and she had her camera, and we have a ton of pictures from our first night, so we will throw a few of these pictures up uh, over top of this, so you guys yeah. can see the very first night that we met in New York, <laughs> and it was. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, we just enjoyed the evening together. We had a few drinks together. Yeah. And, and then before you know it, the night is done. We had a beautiful time and we shared a taxi together. And that's when we discovered that we actually were quite like we lived close together, yeah. right? We were almost neighbors and we had absolutely no idea. We found out that night. Um, so we did share a cab together home. Mm -hmm. I went home and uh, Ryan dropped me off first, or the cab dropped me off first. And do you remember holding hands? In the I cab? do. Yeah, we held hands. We held hands in the at the bar and in the cab. Yep, it was sweet. Because I'm smooth. <laughs> so we we shared a cab home together, and Priscilla's apartment was the first one that we went to, and then we got there, and then there was that moment when the car was waiting outside and the cab driver's like, come on, people, the meter's running. And then I gave her a sweet little kiss. So we kissed for the first time on our very first date together. We did, we yeah. did. Um, and then you went home and I went home. Mm -hmm. And I remember getting home and feeling like on cloud nine. And I was just enamored by this boy. And I was just so, so, in, you know, just feeling amazing by the whole night and everything and then I went to my bedroom um, I went to the bathroom washed my face or whatever and then brushed my teeth and then I remember keep thinking I hope he texts me I hope he texts me all the time I was hoping that he would text me uh, you know a day later or or soon or whatnot and then when I got back to my bedroom he had just texted me already and he said uh, I had a wonderful night it was a, a beautiful night we I had a lot of fun with you blah 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 I hope to see you again soon and we did because when you like the girl you just you text her right away. There's none of this waiting a day to yeah, make the phone guys. call junk. Yeah. Come on. Get on this. Get on the right train here, man. Get it going, people. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that, and then we saw each other. We actually didn't see each other the next day, uh -huh. but we saw each other the, the, the second day, day. Yeah, yeah. the day after, we and, had a lunch uh, date. and we had lunch dates. And then we've seen each other almost every single day since. Yeah. Yeah. We, almost every single day. Almost every. I think. I think we haven't gone five days without seeing each other since this since like we in met. Our whole relationship, in our whole like from relationship. when we met and dated to being married yeah. to uh, everything yeah. Yeah. we see each other every day and we absolutely love it there's nothing better because ryan is my best friend yeah. and he is the love of my life and priscilla is my best friend and yeah. we love each other and when you love each other and it's for real there, there's nothing else you'd rather do and there's no one else you'd rather be with yeah that's a beautiful story you have lipstick all over yourself. It's the price you pay. Yourself. It's the price you pay for love. Clean yourself <laughs> up, man. Thanks, baby. You're gonna be such a good mama. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. this is the story 
of how we met. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys liked it. Um, we have obviously a life together now, um, you know, from between meeting New York City, moving to Chicago, getting married in Chicago, adopting our dog, starting our journey on trying to conceive, mm -hmm. and finally moving to Brazil to make our dream of being parents true. Um, it's a lifetime compressed in a few years of being together, yeah. and we would like to share our stories with you. So if you're interested in hearing more of you know our wedding story or how you know how we decided to move to Chicago and how we decided to move to Brazil, please leave a comment for us below and let us know if you're interested. Absolutely, and please share your stories with us as well. We're yeah. we're really interested to hear yours and um, you know to make this as much of a community as we can. So now you know how we met. Uh, please give us a great big thumbs up if you enjoyed our video. Uh, like Priscilla said, definitely leave a comment down below for us and please subscribe. Uh, we want to share our story with as many of you as we can and we've got some great new videos up and many more to come. So yes. thanks for being a part of all of this so far with us. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Bye.